This thing hasn't run in a really long time. Kind of, kind of what I thought would happen. Come on, baby. Not only does it need a new battery, it needs some cables, eh? Well, this time of the year, seeing how I broke my Buick, I threw this one on the road. Haven't driven it, I guess, since last year sometime. Uh, this one's a 27T, but my brakes don't feel great, so kind of working on that. Got to figure out what's going on there. The uh, I've readjusted the fronts, but they're still not good, so I'm wondering if there's something up with the master cylinder or whatnot from sitting. It's been sitting for a year or so, so who knows. But uh, yeah, this is this is probably my first build I did on YouTube. I wouldn't really suggest looking at it because it's not very good footage. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's uh, a 2070. Uh, what did I all do to this thing? Well, I pretty much built it. This thing started out as a sedan. I got it. I think I started turning it into a pickup. I don't know how many years ago, but uh, I believe. I sectioned it because it was like a, a tall T coupe, big window. So I think I took eight inches out of here and I believe I chopped it eight inches. So, and then uh, just to have a little more room in it, I fit perfectly fine in here. So considering how much chop that is and I'm six foot two or something, I have plenty of room in that cab. Well, that's marginal, but I have plenty of headroom. Um, yeah, I was traveling around in, I think we were in Grand Forks or Fargo, and I guess they had like one of those throw your garbage to the curb day, and if you want to take it, I actually found these uh, Model A fenders sitting on curbside. But they were bobbed pretty hard. Like the backs were bobbed, and then this was like my first attempt at like making sort of like a fender kind of thing. It turned out okay for my first try. It's not perfect, but nothing is on the truck. Hmm. That seems like it got smoked there. I think this side's a little better. Yeah. Well, marginally better. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I built the frame underneath it. It's got a... Uh, uh, let's see. If I can get underneath here. Oh, yeah. So I pretty much built the frame. It's got a kick. Nothing crazy. Four bar rear. Uh, it's got a two-wheel drive S10 diff with a posi. Uh, the fuel tank, I made the fuel tank. And then I stole the sending unit and everything out of uh, like a Silverado pickup. And kind of sandwiched, like basically I cut it out of the plastic tank and I sandwiched it in there, bolted it down. I don't know, it hasn't leaked, so I guess I wanted something there. Uh, I mount the battery in the back. A buddy gave me the front axle and... Uh, I just rebuilt the brakes, stuff like that. Mounted the spring up front, axle behind. It's powered with, uh, I think it's a 4.8 LS. I built the leg pipes, can't really tell, but they're, the O2s are like in the back. With the Turbo 350. I have no idea what this visor came from. I just found it in my 
pile sitting outside. So on it went. Uh, the window frame I built. So if guys are always looking for these, I mean, I cheated. I cut this initially out in my plasma table and then I gave it some inner structure on the inside and then glued my glass in. Let's see if I can get it out. If I can get it out a bit, then you can see what it actually, because these are always rotten. So essentially I did this with a, I have a piano hinge. I have all this tape and junk on here, but I was just because in the middle of winter, she gets cold in there. So I was uh, trying to keep a little warmer in there. So as you can see, this is just, uh, what is that? I think this is 10 gauge. And then I just welded in some angle. Actually, sorry, it's not even angle. It's just straight bar all the way around where my window was. So it gives it, there's tons of strength. I don't know. It looks fine. Does what I need it to do. It's a window considering I didn't have one. And then I just got the arms from, I think I got these actually from, from a swap meet or something, the, the arms. Um, when I had the truck, it had no door. So this was a win. Somebody had it, but it was pretty mangled. I had no inner garnish molding. So I kind of just made whatever junk I needed. I know it's a pretty, pretty psychedelic interior, but I don't know. For some reason I had a lot of red vinyl left over, so I went with it. The, it's kind of really random, but the columns from a Suzuki Samurai. So that's what I used for uh, a steering column, but the blinker box went bad. So I couldn't use any of the garbage around it. The pedal assembly is an F1 from an F1, but I modified it to run a dual master cylinder. Uh, other than that, it's pretty, pretty Spartan inside. They're uh, just your simple gauges down on the bottom. It reminds me my speedometer's broken, so I've got to fix that too yet. And then, uh, yeah, the seat bottoms are actually just from a Camaro or something like that. So I'm sitting right on the floor. It's a little. Not too bad, a little squishy leg wise, but you know, you're good for an hour or two driving. The roof is pretty random. It's uh, I think somebody gave me some tonneau covers from a truck. So I use that. It's just a piece of plywood sheet. And I think I had to go, it worked out width wise and I don't know. It just fit, let's put it that way. Uh, but if you've ever done these tops, they're so hard to get all the screws into all the places. Like it is screwed down in some places here but I got lazy and I just screwed through the top and just urethane. <laughs> it's uh, it was a lot of work trying to deal with all that stuff. So I just did that and gooped it and eh, good enough. It doesn't get wet inside when it rains, so that's a win. Like I say, it just is just a hobble of parts. So yeah, basically it's a 27T, I don't know, it's a Model A box and Model A fenders, homemade splash aprons, and then, yeah, these, so these are like, I don't know, they're junk, but they were, they look good with the truck. So, but this one's getting a little haggard here. So I've got to give it a little bit of love, a couple of little zaps. They were pretty, they were pretty mangled. Like this side here is like really tweaked out of size, out of place, but I'll give it a little bit of love too. I think it got smoked on the side or something because it kind of drives me bananas that the wheel's not the same as the other side, but. Eh, I don't see it. You can only see one side of the car at a time, so. I know it's the fender, but I didn't have a better fender, and whatever, is what it is. No big deal. The backs aren't bad, but usually when my winter tires are on, they fill the wheel wheels better. These ones, I just got adapters to go to the, the wide five, or the five on five and a half bolt pattern, but they're pretty recessed. I guess I should have got hindsight. I should have got some more offset wheels, I guess. I never really planned to run these, but I think these tires will go bad if I don't put them on something and use them. So I've had them sitting in the shed for I don't know how long. Like the side panels, I made them, I made the hood. It's got a bump on, it's got a bubble on top only because my, uh, my air breather is actually over there. And then I don't know, I had some headlights and I bent the bar up because of the way I raised the fenders. Uh, did I make him? Yeah, I made the rods inside for the inner fender supports. So these headlights would have been way too high because the fenders are raised because the channels, the frame is zed. Yeah, I don't even know, nothing crazy. I think it's three inches in the front and then it might be like five in the back or something. But uh, so I had to drop this down. So basically I just torched this down, did that. 
I guess because this is for a Model A, it was too wide, so I just did this V in the middle just to sh shrink things up. So, anyways, let me pop the hood off. I'll show you the motor. Although it looks like any other LS. My goal when I did it was just so it didn't look like you couldn't see the motor, so I think I succeeded at that. So there's the hood. I just have those little, whatever they are, those little quick connector thingamabobbers to get them off. The motor fit really well, just an aluminum rad. I'm still even running mechanical fans, so that was like a huge win. The motor's pretty tight in there. There's plenty of room, like access to get at everything. I did have to mount the computer inside the truck, so just try to make, make room, as much room as I could. I'd like to somehow jimmy rig some cruise control in here yet. Be kind of nice, now that I figured out how to do it. Oh yes, I have to figure out the speedometer part. Anyways, so yeah. Yeah, tight, tight, tight. But you can get at pretty much everything. This motor's getting a little on the weak side. I don't know if it needs some valve stem seals or something, because you get a little, a nice little puff there when you start her up, but eh, it's fine. The motors are cheap. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's get started with my brakes. My brakes are needing some TLC, so let's start with that. Well, this job's escalated really quick. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So I pretty much ran my master up onto the bench here. I'm, oop, I'm gonna try to bench bleed this and see what's going on. Cause this is bananas. I can't get it to uh, pull fluid to the front. So either it needs to be bench bled or the master's bad. I'm not sure to figure that out. So I have to figure that out. Kind of just completely random. But hey, what do I know? Oh yeah. All right, well let me, let me position this and just do the old pokeroos there, see if we can uh, get this thing to bench bleed properly and I don't know, maybe work. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think I got everything down here. I mean, the back brakes were working, just the fronts weren't working for some weird reason. Yeah, I think the master's just bunk. I think she's just shot. Yep, something's in there. Okie dokie. No big deal. I got another one in the shed. So I'll get that and then we'll repeat this process on it. All right. What I think I have here is a new used one. Jeez Louise, I am not winning here. This worked, but this thing's stuck. Jeepers, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do this. This has been a disaster here. So I don't know how much of that footage I kept or kept using. Wasn't pretty. I have brake clean everywhere. I don't know what I like more, being full of brake fluid or gear oil. It's kind of a, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this one's working, it bench bled fine. This one, I don't know what's going on. It's like something's broken inside of it. And I don't really care because I have a few of these. So 
So anyway, I am going to put this back on the car, commence all the brake bleeding, and uh, well, hopefully everything's good after that. Well, that was a win. Brakes are good. Alrighty, let's do some fender buzzing. This does not bother me very much, but I might throw a couple tacks in there and just run the clamp and just try to do something through it. It's more of this edge that's starting to tear and it's, it's making some kind of annoying noises on the road. So I'm gonna kind of pull this up. I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. Whoever patched this kind of did it wrong here. And I don't know. I think it's cool, so I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> Although I'll try to fill this just so I can at least make these lips meet. We'll do something with that. We'll stick a couple stitches of weld into there. We'll leave all the character in the fender. Like I say, I'll uh, use uh, my arsenal of uh, bits here just to run a few tacks through it. Eh, good enough. i got to do that, and then I've got to touch the other side too yet. I'll do a little bit up here on this fender. Not too much, just enough. <laughs> uh, I think when we're done that, we're gonna go take her for a rip. It's gonna be nice and hot. I'm gonna need to take a break and cool down a bit.